even in Indiana, but it's in Noblesville, and Noblesville is a little far for me to be traveling at last minute notice. But it is to, I'm not sure, is it to support Roe v. Wade? It's to support abortion rights. Yeah. Yes. And I thought, well, shoot, I wish I had known about that. I'd have been like right out there. Um, not, oh, you hadn't, you didn't know until. I recently. literally found out this morning. And it oh, just wow. popped up okay. on my page. I'm like, huh? Where the fuck? I didn't hear anything about it in the news. I didn't hear anything about it. You know, you would have thought like the CNN, the oh. MSNBC would have said, hey, here comes this rally. Mm -hmm. Nope. Nope. No, they um, they wouldn't uh, want to advertise something like that. But I thought they would because they would be. Pro I thought they would be pro-choice. Um, they they may be, <clears throat> but they may may not be willing to put themselves out there as. Oh yeah, a staunch supporter or ally yeah because i know um last weekend or the weekend before last there was a pro-life rally that was held here in indianapolis and they were just all lined up <laughs> on west 16th street oh no, i'm serious they were all lined up on west 16th street because a clinic used to be located uh, uh, an adoption mm. clinic is located there like hey this is an alternative um, so I'm like, yeah, okay. I just kept driving. I, I didn't get mean. I'm not that person. Um, but I'm like, hmm. I am. I am. I would beat my horn and uh, display a middle finger or two. I might cuss out the window. I don't know. You never know. <laughs> yeah. I'm not I'm not great at self-control. <laughs> some, you know, some you said something to me last night and I keep thinking about it. Sometimes you just can't argue with everybody right. there's always a time and place and i feel like those people that are protest i mean certainly that's their right they definitely have the right to protest they do but my own my problem has been with the pro-life people and i understand like i said i used to be on their side you couldn't tell me like a pro-choice person i would just never have a conversation with because i'm like oh you're a baby killer mm. I mean that was my whole train of thought, but then when well, especially when you're when you're raised in religion, that tends to be right. You're just that's what you're programmed to think in essence. Mm -hmm. And then when you alter, it's like, well, wait a minute. My job is not to tell somebody else what to do. Right. My that's not my job. Or and, what to believe. <laughs> or what to believe, or mm -hmm. or how to practice what you. That's not my yeah. job. I can only present you a message. You either accept it or you can reject it and then we can be done. Mm -hmm. But when I, when, I when I see them, I'm like, okay, I, I, I guess I'm being more sympathetic because I understand why they're there. Because they think that they're doing a good work. Where I'm thinking, hmm. a lot of dam A lot of damage is done by people who think they're doing good work exactly a whole lot of damage and i and i always question them they say adoption okay i'm like you realize we have over four hundred thousand children in the adoption foster care system right now that can't get adopted because they're not babies babies mm -hmm. are obviously the most i hate to say popular but that's the that's the largest request made i'll say it that way yeah. i don't want to say popular babies are popular but that's what most people want is <clears throat> if they want because most people want a child that they get birth or they've conceived themselves. They want a child that's their, that's their blood. So to convince the average person to adopt in the first place, mm, eh. and I've seen what parents go through. I'm like, ooh, let me not sign up for that one. I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna skip all of that. For, I'm gonna skip that, 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 and that. Let me do this. Definitely a lot of hoops to jump through. Yeah, and it's just to make it simple, oh, you're wrong. Well, <clears throat> no, you're wrong. You're trying to tell me what to do. You're trying to take your mm -hmm. beliefs. That would be like somebody that practices Buddhism trying to tell me something. I'm like, get out of my face. You can't tell me nothing. 
Bye. See you. You cannot take what you believe and then put it on me. No, you cannot. But conversely, I cannot take what I believe and just make you do it because I think it's right. I can, I can think, oh, well, maybe abortion isn't a good idea. But then who was going to tell a 12-year-old that raped by her father? Oh, yeah, you got that, that baby. Yep. Mm -hmm. Huh? <clears throat> no, that's what that that's pretty much what abortion is for. Uh yeah, I mean abortions um abortions have been happening for centuries. Absolutely. And for a plethora of different reasons, none of which is anybody's business except that woman and her partner and or doctor, depending on who she shares, decides to share that information with. I mean, that's all there is to yeah. it. And the only, mm -hmm. the only thing that banning abortions is going to do is to make abortions dangerous and more women will die. That's, that's the end of it. But you know what the, the pro to a pro life section will say, well, what about the father's rights? Well, sorry, newsflash, he's not carrying the baby. She is not, not, not you. If, no. if men were carrying babies, we would abortion, there'd be no question abortion would be legal. Be legal, mm. nobody would question it, nobody would say you're going to hell, nobody would say anything. We'd just be like, okay, that's what he wanted to do. But yeah. since women have it, and women have basically little to no power, if you really think about it, oh, well, she's just so wrong. And what about the father's rights? What about her rights? Mm -hmm. What about what she wants? And another thing that's always agitated me, and I don't know if you've ever heard this, but I'm so agitated by people that present abortion as some type of birth control and i'll mm. explain what i mean oh they just have sex and they don't they don't know how to keep their legs closed and they get pregnant and so they just keep having abortions really you gonna say that you really gonna say that you just had I, that statement alone just really makes me so fired up because i i can't stand it it's super duper judgmental <clears throat> for you to say that why she, you don't know why she's doing that. No. Um, and, and that really is, that really is the bottom line is that the woman who is pregnant is the only one who should be able to make that decision. And that's, that's really all there is to it. It is, it is not a man's body that hosts a fetus for nine months. It is, it is not a man's body that will change um, remarkably in the next nine months. It has, look, just because he fertilized an egg does not mean he gets power over that egg from now on. When, when the baby is, if and when the baby is born and, and the mother thinks that yes, the father should be allowed, yes, great. Then you have, then you have a say over what happens. But until that, until that, um, until that, no. I mean, there's, there's nothing more to it. And then the thing that really makes me mad about, especially the Texas law and all these repressive women's health laws, so she decides, mm -hmm. okay, I'm going to have this baby. She can't get SNAP benefits. She can't get WIC. She can't get health care for the child. Um, we're going to wait for Virginia to come back. Sorry, but, my, I'm sorry. My neighbor decided to start mowing his lawn. So I just, <laughs> just needed yeah. to shut my door. Um, we can't, the, the, the mother can't get health care for her child. She's barely scraping by and probably a job that doesn't pay enough for her and a child or children because she's most likely to have other children that she has to. It's like, okay, what you are pro-life people is you're pro-birth. 
Hello, this is Tracy, and I want to let you know that the video that you just watched is just a snippet. And to see the whole wonderful episode, you need to be a Patreon. The link to be a Patreon is in the description section. Please check it out and please support. We need um, as much support as possible. Remember, you can always um, subscribe to our page and be notified when we get new videos. But if you want to see the whole video in its entirety, unedited, um, just, just off the cuff, no filters, no anything, be a Patreon. You can start as low as just $1 per month or $5 per month. Um, we'll start to have polls. Um, sometimes I'll drop into the Patreon once we get a couple more members. But again, I just want to encourage you to support us on the Patreon. The link is in the description and have a fantastic day. Bye-bye.